Hello friends, and welcome to Stories The Path of Destinies. This is an indie adventure RPG that is kind of like a choose your own adventure book. I'm really excited, I haven't actually played it yet, but it looks gorgeous. And from what I've heard, it's absolutely amazing. So let's get right into Once the game. Upon a time, the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once. A shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals. Victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages. And no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books. So they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with drop ships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. So first off, the, uh, the voice acting, the narrator in this is fantastic. I love that. I love that so far. Before we get into this, I do want to point out that I was given a copy of this game by the developer in order to do this video. So if you feel like there is some bias present because of that, I just wanted you guys to, to know that beforehand. I also want to point out that I'm using a controller for this and that it apparently has fairly long load times. Uh, this is unusual, but nevertheless, it, you know, we'll see how long it is. The kid was looking down, watching his city burn. Sorry, kid, Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renato had to run after him. Stupid kid. Stupid books. This is why you shouldn't read with kids. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways. So, the first, uh, the first one took about a minute to load in, which is a little bit longer than I would have liked. I have a fairly the two moderately powerful computer as like well. Their dinner, so, you think it would be take a little bit was in less time. Brains. Hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Alright, I finally get to do some, ugly as you. some combat here. Let's Wait, see how it works. Come out, right? For the Emperor! The Ravens cawed and rushed at him. Alright, X to attack. Easy enough. I have, I have a, a feeling these are the easiest enemies in the game, though. Because if the whole game's that easy, there's going to be no problem. Alright. Left and X to counter. Alright, so it's got some kind of... Alright, cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Assassin's Creed or something. You know? Can we push you off? Oh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But so far, so good. A dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The this game is fairly gorgeous so far, by the way. I really like the art style and the aesthetic. Hold X to grab and, and then throw. Okay. Okay, so we can throw them off. Of course, does that really do anything? I mean, they're ravens. So, you think they'd just be able to fly, right? That apparently kills them now. Oh, right. The Gate of Heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm going to steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. 
He was an idiot is right. Gonna get a hero sword. All right, so this kind of opens up the crafting oh, menu. And so you get ore and, and stuff, and then you can make things Sounds with them. Right. And you can also upgrade your equipment though. with them as well. Now, there's four Earth. different types of swords. So we are going to craft. I'm just going to skip all this for now. A hero sword. A hero sword. Two now, there's three other ones. So as you can guess, there are four different types of gates. Void Blade, Winter Thorn, Firestorm. And from what I've seen, they pretty much do the same thing. Uh, for the most part. So, can we upgrade this? No, let's just head back. Awesome. Okay, so we have our hero sword. We can go open that door now. And of course, if you want to, this you can also use your ores and stuff to upgrade your equipment instead of forge new ones. So. She'd laughed at Renato's jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. And the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. What I'm assuming is there'll be areas that you can't really get through your get first playthrough because you don't have all the swords. And so and you'll have to craft before, them and go left, through a second and there was time. Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I hopped, said the kid. Wise ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Cute, said Renato. Alright. Ravens. Ravens. Alright, hopefully they have a hook. I do have to say, so far the combat is it was time fairly simplistic. The kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Right, how do we he hook? Was. He hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Okay, it just spawns here. Perfect. Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Alright. So now we have skills. Yes, yes. Just like any other game ever. All right, let's buy this one. Perfect. To come back to Hold Y. All right, Something cool. You never completely forgot. Like and how to freeze here time we go. when attacking. Easy the enough. More fought, the more he'd probably remember. It's also really easy to, to aim it as well. You don't have to and get right on it, it looks like. All right, there's She's our ship. The fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. Oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about oh, to no. walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. Stupid kid. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him. A goggler? Well, goodbye, kid. I suppose. All right, let's see what we have to do here. Assuming we should come up behind it and hit it. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, meat. It's like a, it's like a T-bone steak. All right. The book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes. And the kid sized. Oh, well, goodbye, Peter. Ashes. Well, he wasn't really the Damn smartest it. kid of all. Why hadn't so. he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really. Pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renato picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. All right, guys, here goes. A few break these? We can. Is there anything inside of them? Uh, fruit. Health. Okay. Cool. I wish there was a, a dodge roll or something. Maybe we, maybe that's a skill we have to get. That'd What's be very useful. About this book anyway? Or maybe a sprint. Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cored the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. 
Take us to the rebel base, and we'll spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. A sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. The legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renardo a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renardo could only rescue him. Renardo dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. So this is where the choose your own adventure thing kind of comes into play. So as you play through the game, you'll be given these choices. And depending on which one you, you pick, the story will change dramatically. And from what I've heard, this is a pretty short game, but there's just a lot of bad endings. And so you have to play through it a few different times and choose different ways to do it and try different quests. And then you'll find whichever way is the correct way and then you can save everyone so i think we're gonna go with this one for now ah uh, lapino apparently the mad rabbit had sold a pegasus that he did not exactly own lapino always wiggled out of trouble given time but he was out of time the ravens had figured out that lapino was a rebel spy if the fleet reached him first they'd string him up for that never mind the winged horse all right, here we go. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? All right, so that time it wasn't quite as bad for the loading. Once, Renato had been to a dungeon where all the chests were locked. So I'm hoping that means that that not all of them will be too bad. Okay, how much do we have? So we have the essence for the, oh we have that one. We need more essence for these, and we need more ore as well. So wh ooh, what are the gems? Gem socketing. Okay, so this is how you can socket stuff into your your character, but we don't have any so. Hopefully we'll be able to find some of those along the way as well. All right, let's get right into the action. I hope you picked the right way to go. So, because if not, we'll have to play through the entire game. But that's kind of the fun part about it, hybrid you know? System fueled by I guess that depends on if you think that this game has a lot of replay value or not. So, I will say I'm going to get interrupted a lot by that narrator. I'm probably going to talk over him except for the the major cutscene type stuff. So if that bothers you, then the I'm Ravens sorry. Taken the town. But that's just how it's gonna Renato be. Had so. seen villages empty like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. Renato's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. All right, so this is kind of like Bastion where he, he talks about what you're doing as well. This looks like one of those sword gates, but we don't have the right one, so. Maybe we come back later, maybe on our next playthrough. I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to work. Can we break these? No, okay. Well, let's head this way, I suppose. Let's see what we got. We got another altar here. So maybe we can upgrade something else. We don't have any skill points, so we can't. So, oh, we can go through here. Or we can see what's over here. A chest. Excellent. Definitely, definitely check. Because... You know, secrets in these types of games, they're everywhere. And they reward the people who take their time to actually play the game. So, definitely worth trying at least. Shall we just agree to disagree? Said Renato. No? Alright. Ah! First damage we've taken. Oh, second damage we've taken. Okay. 
I see how this is gonna work. You can actually counter while you're attacking. Okay, I thought you had to wait for it to, to stop, but you don't. So you can just pretty much mash the button and then hit in the directions of people uh, whenever they start to attack. Keep so. get moving. If they got to right, the first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Davies weren't picky. We do need some health hungry, though, because we did take some damage. Their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? So far so good though. I love to see oh, is that enough? Oh no eat. Oh, one more. That's probably close enough. Head down this way. There's a chest over there as well. Hopefully it's got some delicious items in it or something for me. Or maybe some gems. We can see how that works. I don't know. Possibly. We got some wind essence. That may be enough to make the second type of sword, but I'm not actually quite sure. We could also see if we have enough. We do have it. Okay, what do we got? Dash. Oh, yes. Yes, please. It was starting to come back to him. All right. Something you've never completely so we have we have stamina on the bottom as well. So we gotta watch out. Oh, that's that's very nice. Okay. I do have to say my only gripe so far is that the combat seems a little bit simplistic. I'm not saying it's easy, but it is fairly simplistic, at least so far. Now they might add stuff later, of course, but. So far, it's mainly just mash button and counterattack if they decide to attack. You. And of course, there's other stuff you can do as well. I mean, you can throw people, and maybe it'll it'll be good to throw people at other people later so that we can stun them. Run down his back. But for now, just kind of mashing the button works. So, very gorgeous area though. Okay, we don't have. We don't have the right blade to go over here. It's a cool looking gate though. And no health, unfortunately. I wonder what these runes here are for. There was one by the windmill or whatever earlier. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, I see. So there, there is a little bit of extra if you want to get through that. And there's combos and stuff as well. Perfect. Mm, probably not. So we leveled up, so hopefully we have another skill point for when we get to the next altar. It looks like as you go through areas, it kind of sections off areas behind you. Ah, here's our friend. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. All right, so either chase some tail or go after half of a weapon. I'm gonna have to go with chase some tail. I don't know about you. Wasn't just so. The daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school, and you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him they'd been close. She told him things no one else knew, but she never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game all right. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. 
All right, we got some more essences and ores. That was very hard to say, apparently. Hopefully we can find a workbench. I think I spot one down there. So maybe we can craft the second sword. I don't think it really does much as far as... Ooh. People already dead here. I don't think it really does much as far as damage or anything, but it does allow you to get into the other gates, which is really what I'm looking for for the most part. Hmm. All right. Wrong sword. Keep on moving. Oh, it's one of those things. Oh, it almost zapped us. That's all right. It should be easy to take out. Got some more ores and essences. We're going to wait right here. Wait for it to turn around and we're going to slice it. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Perfect. So far, so good. Ooh, almost got, got seen by that second one. But we didn't. All right, we did get seen by that one, but we took it out before it could do anything. Probably not the best way to do it, but it worked out. A so. eye. No. Oh, that was too easy. Those ones are like blue inside, like rotted me. Is this uh, our friend? So, what's oh, it this is. plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lupino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. Oh, go ahead. I'm sure you know better, said Lapino. Yeah, we're not gonna go with that. We're gonna see. Oh, if can we I craft a sword now? It's gonna be really short. Nope, not quite. All right, here we go. Oh, hold on one sec. All right, I'm back. Let's see if we can do another skill here. We can. Perfect strike combo. All right, awesome. So I think I'm gonna have to leave it here. I do really like this game. I like the aesthetic, I like the humor, and I really like the narrator for it. The only problem I have is the load times are a little bit long, and the combat doesn't really seem fully flushed out so far. It's pretty simplistic. Now, maybe that'll change if we get new enemies and stuff, but for the most part right now, it's, it's definitely not the, uh, the best part of the game. So, but I do think it is a very, very fun game. I'm really excited to see what this story has for us as well. Anyways, this has been Stories, The Path of Destinies. If you want to check it out, I'll leave everything you need down below. And I will see you in the next episode. Renato slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. Where were her guards? Finally. He reached her bedroom. She was curled up at her bed. Oh, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. How sleek. How soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She became smoke. And he noticed he had a blade to his throat. Stay a while. Heard a familiar voice. Did you really think you could capture me? Zenobia said as her ship lifted off. Now I just wanted some privacy, Renato said. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you. And he told her why. His Imperial Majesty wanted to bring the lost gods back. They could make him immortal. But to seal the bargain, he needed a sacrifice. Someone who truly loved him. You're lying. She was furious. You can't prove that. I can. And so they set sail for the Nexus. 